watching the first episode of Cooking with a Comedian. I am Joel James. I am your comedian. I'm your cook and your host. I'm at my good friend, my one of my closest friends of all time, Melinda Wiggins. Y'all know her from the web series Single Until Proven Guilty. Wakatima. Chantel. Chantel. No, fool. Wakatima. Wakatima Nelson. I was your MySpace friend, but MySpace is like whack. Don't nobody do that. What they do that at? But this week, I wanted to start it off at Melinda Wiggins' house. Can I just? Can we just walk in real fast so we can see what's in the freezer? This is. Look at this. Shit. Oh my god. Uh, what food stamps for that? You better pick that up. That cost me three forty nine. Box fucking food in your freezer. This is not healthy. You gotta, I'm most that guy who comes to your house and throws the shit away. Uh -uh. That's what I'm gonna do. Uh -uh. I'm throwing this stuff away. away. Look at everything's in the box. Everything's in the box. What is All this box food. I'm, throw, I'm throwing I paid shit good away. money for them food stamps. That's gonna last me about two months. Food in the box. That's good steak. That's me loaf. <laughs> That's how you do. <laughs> Right. Okay, so each week we're going to be cooking a different entree at everybody's house. Melinda's requested... Seared salmon. Seared, seared salmon. See, I can't really say it because it comes out with it. I have a list because... Why is your, is your tongue long? No, my tongue's long enough. But I have a list because of my gap. So today's cocktail that we're featuring, it's not a, you know, it's a Pinot Grigio. We do have a little Pinot Grigio. Do you like the Pinot Grigio? It's your first time tasting it? It's dry. Okay. That's why I mix it with a little splash of the hood. A, a Stop splash juice. of mosca <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, I'm too, you. See, I'm too grown to say that word. I, I refuse to say it. Have you had asparagus before? Never. But Have I heard they good. Right? Not never, ever, ever. I swear, never in my life. But I heard they good on a barbecue grill. Okay, let I me put some sweet baby rays on it. Let me tell you about asparagus. Is it really makes your pee smell real bad? So why well, ain't that then? No, but you. Come on. Let me get it. You T I before. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't gonna put it on camera. But I'm just saying, hell, y'all woman did. Do you have a uh, uh, um, strainer or no? Let me see. I'm sorry. You know, if he, if he asked me for something that y'all think I should have, I apologize. I don't have. Then she just moved in like a year ago. So. What can you do? Don't oh, I do. Oh, I'm sorry. You do have I didn't even know I had one. Boy, I lie. Magic. Boy, I lie. Magic. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is rinse off our uh, grass, our asparagus. So the first thing you do with asparagus is you cut the bottom of it off. Just like, just a bunch of them. I'm not supposed to be doing it all together like this. Listen to but this is a really good knife. And once the asparagus is cut and rinsed, I put it in a bag. I put it in a Ziploc bag. So what I do is I put butter in here. I put um, garlic, fresh garlic. I put uh, a few other ingredients that you guys don't really need to know, but you, you make it to your desired taste. I like things that are a little spicy, so I put a little cayenne pepper, and we're going to pour this in here. Once we have everything in there, we're going to shake it up. And this is to get, to get the asparagus nice, well rounded with all the season. I really like the garlic in here. I cook garlic with everything. And I'm going to leave that in there for a few minutes so I could, you know, just let it marinate in there. We could do the, the famous age. And I do the Goya version actually of this too. It's not that much. I think this this whole thing cost me I think like one a dollar fifty, I swear. I think like a dollar fifty or maybe it might have been more. I'm not really sure. I'm just gonna pour this in there. We've got some butter in there already. And we're gonna let that cook for about ten minutes. So what Melinda is doing right now is cleaning as we go. I'm not really a good cleaning as we go, but you said that's what your mom... Yeah, you supposed to clean as you go. Mm -hmm. Cook, clean, done that bomb. I agree, because it makes things a lot easier. You know yeah, what I mean? Yeah. You should have, you would have been so good in that movie, um, The Help. But it's... <laughs> <laughs> okay, so what we did is, um, I have the salmon that I've been having, having marinate a little bit too long but this is kind of blackened and I put my own little touch to it I put a little curry in it um, of course black pepper of course garlic um, and you know cayenne pepper that I put in everything but not too much so we don't make it too spicy because not everybody really likes spicy food I know my tongue is very sensitive well, you could put paprika for red but I don't do all that high. it's not gonna be too spicy now the key that I learned to, to not have it stuck to the pan is you put a little bit of the olive oil on the actual salmon, right? So now this pot is ready for the salmon. And it's officially not gonna sit, um, stick because of we, we put the olive oil on there. So we're gonna put that right down in the pot. A lot of people like it to put the skin down first, actually. So it's fine. 
So we're gonna let these sizzle for a few minutes. Now why do you have that big lid? Oh, I had this big lid because you didn't have a smaller <laughs> one. So. It didn't have to have a lid, so I mean, I guess. Um, um, yeah, you always want a lid on top of your rice. So what's the difference between olive oil and this? Olive oil is much healthier. Um, to get it's more, like 100% pure. To get more information, you can just Google. I'm not a fucking cook. I'm a comedian. You're just cooking with me. <laughs> <laughs> Ask your fucking doctor. <laughs> I will. I'm trying to watch my fake gut. All right, because you lost a lot of weight. How much weight have you lost since the first episode of Single Until Proven Guilty? 149 pounds. Wow. Ah! Now we got this all marinated in here, and this is this looks delicious, right? Yeah, yeah. let me just do this, make it feel like I did something. <laughs> so what is that? Like it's soft, like bendy. We don't want them to get too bendy. I don't like to kill my vegetables. I like to keep the vegetables a little bit alive. Alive? They ain't human. Right. <laughs> kill. But you know I'm probably just put some that's like, style corn over it. Th that's what that's what I mean by um like collard greens. You know they do collard greens in the cell, but they it's like our vegetable. But you done cooked it in ham hocks for three hours and then that's your vegetable? So you like Turkey that? Turkey tail, take your butt. No. You want to drizzle that in there? You want to drizzle that in there? Drizzle that in there. There you go. That's what I'm about. That's what I'm talking about. Melinda is going to switch over the fish to the other side. But once it's kind of done on this side, we can turn this off. Top it and let it cook on this side for about four minutes. They say like four minutes each side is good enough. So once you turn it off, it's just kind of getting the air, it's getting more crisp and getting all that on that one side. Okay, so now we are completely done with our seared salmon and our asparagus. So we, let's get a good shot of the plate. Can we get one? We can try to get it from different angles. Get it, Melinda. Let me get it from different angles. No, we can move the plate. I'm tired. <laughs> <laughs> let's go ahead and taste the asparagus and see if you like it. Yeah, let's see if I like it. It's still alive, so. It's still alive. How do you like the salmon? It's not good. And I lessened the spice on the salmon for me. Yes, because I can't have it hot. Mm -hmm. So that concludes the first episode of Cooking with a Comedian. Tune in next week to see uh, what we're going to be cooking, who we're going to be cooking with, and learn your lesson. That's really good. You like it? All right. We, so we, we changed our life, right? We're going to eat healthy now. You can call me and be like, Joel, I need you to come over and make me and some cook, asparagus. Cooking some asparagus. Okay. Stop, Juice, and shot. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Woo! Let's eat. So don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel, youtube.com slash Joel James Comedy. Follow me on Instagram at Joel James Comedy. Uh, I got a Facebook. Oh, we're going to follow you? What's your name on Instagram? Some, some shit. It's 45 underscore twerk with it. It's shit. <laughs> I'm <laughs>